Okay, let's create the new curtain panel pattern based family. And it, I start with this as my template, as it were. So, what I'm going to do is create some points on the surface. I'm going to select all four of these points. I'm going to use the filter, check none, reference points. I've got them here. I'm going to set them off some distance. So I'm going to come down to where there's the offset parameter. And I'm going to create a new parameter that I'm going to call mullion depth. And I'll, I'll uh, up here I'll set that value to maybe um, two feet. You should see at uh, negative two feet because I want to go to the inside of my building. So when I do that it comes down. I'm going to connect up the uh, the line work here. So I'm going to say I want reference lines that go. I'm using the 3D snapping. Here, here, here here. I just confirm the behavior by dragging on the, the point, Control Z to get back. Now I want to create points that are offset from the top of this. So if I, um, if I say I want to create an additional point, I'm going to get that, oops, so let me set the plane. I'm going to get that strange message again, right, when I pop it on there. Oh, maybe I didn't. Set there, point there, set, there, point on here, the last one, there, a point on here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of grab these points and move them kind of up and in so I can see where they are on my, uh, my model. So. I'm moving them to the inside. Of my panel here. If I go to the uh, floor plan view level one, uh, what I want to do is I want to put some uh, parameters on here. So I'm going to put in a line dimension between the reference line and the point. I'm going to create a parameter here that I'm going to call mullion face. So if I come down and pick add parameter, mullion face, uh, and I'm going to keep that uh, at a kind of a high value at the moment, only so it makes it easier to pick things in the drawing. If I if I move it to if I move it to two inches, you'd see that. Uh, you know, everything is very close together. So at the moment I'm just selecting all of the the uh, dimensions that I want to have this parameter of mullion face, but I'm not actually going to make it too small at the moment. I'm going to look at this in 3D and I want to punch a, a volume through the the uh, this shape itself. Uh, and I want to uh, have a a depth above and or a height above and a and a depth below so that I make sure that the the square shape that I'm about to create actually runs all the way through the window. I did this with a circle before but this is just a little bit a little bit harder. If I uh, if I pick those four points, I think I can pick all four of them at, uh, with the control key down here. And if I go to the properties, um, I want to say uh, show them show the planes always. So I'm actually 
turning that on and I'm also going to say uh, that should do it. <coughs> so I'll, I'll do this on some points here. I'll, I'll try and do it quickly. So I'm going to say set to that central plane and put a point on it. And I get this message that I've got a point on top of another point. I don't care. I'm going to pick that point and I'm going to drag it up. And I'm going to place another point on here. Get the message, pick it. And I'm going to drag it down. And what I want to do is create two parameters. So if I pick on a point that I dragged up, I'm going to go down here and under the offset. I'm going to call this, um, it's called offset up and offset down. Okay, so add parameter. Let's call this offset up. And let's pick this one. Let's make a parameter that we call offset down. Okay, so now I want to do the same thing for all the other four points. I'm going to pause the movie here because I don't think you want to watch me doing that for uh, for every point. Or, or, or what I'll do is I'll take it out if it's if the movie turns out to be too long. So let me uh, go through it. So I'm going to pick on the plane, draw a point, pick the point, and drag it up. Plane, point, pick the point, drag it down. So this this oops sorry. This should all have the yeah, I might have to do them one at a time. That is set up. We can't do them together. Let me just check. Oh, yes I can. I've set up. And uh, let me just turn this a bit so I can see the bottom. That and that would be So just looking at those, I've got four points set above and four points set below. And what I want to do is I'm uh, just going to, again, I'm going to exaggerate the uh, the distances to make it easier to to draft. So if, say five and minus five, push them clear of everything else. 
And that way now, when I can come in here, I can look at them and I could say that what I want to do now is put a, a reference lines. I'm using the 3D snapping and I'm basically going connecting them up. Escape. Escape. Between there and there, I'm creating some solid form. And then between there and well, harder to see it on the top. And there, I'm creating a solid form. And then what I'm doing is taking that form and saying that it's not really a solid, it's a void. Cutting through here. And we do the last thing, which is to come in here and say, uh, you know what, actually I'm thinking at the face of my panel here is something more like two inches. So I'm actually moving it to make it more the right size. And let me uh, stop there and then I'll show you that I'm going to bring in some geometry to nest the other family inside this.